So NC State got the win over Georgia Tech last night. Jillio, I know a lot of folks were looking at a game against Josh Pastner, which hasn't always gone well for Kevin Keats. Five and two, Josh Pastner against NC State before last night. And NC State stacked a couple nice wins. They beat Duke, they beat Miami, and this Georgia Tech game could be viewed as a trap game on the road. Not the case. Here's Kevin Keats, NC State head basketball coach, before they left to go get some ice cream and head back to Raleigh. I got a lot of pride. I mean, I, I was um, I was really on him tonight. Uh, I didn't think we bought it like we had, you know, in the last three games. And they accepted coaching. Um, they handled it the right way. Uh, we found a way to win. And not only did we find a way to win, it's tough to win in the conference on the road. And to come in and get a double-digit win when you don't play your eight game, that's something I think we can build on. So that's Kevin Keats, head coach North uh, at NC State, uh, uh, with the win over Georgia Tech last night. Tequavion smith Gilio is going to get a lot of the attention. He put up another great game. But Jarkel Joyner also should get some love. The one thing that has been consistent in these close games, you got to make those free throws. Jarkel Joyner was 9 for 9 from the stripe. State overall was pretty good from the stripe. Georgia Tech was not. Tie it back to the Miami game. They had some big free throws down the stretch. This is good. This is a team that seems to be kind of finding its own and stacking the confidence going into Chapel Hill on Saturday, which can be a house of horrors for the Wolfpack. Yeah, this was a landmine game for NC State, and not only did they avoid it, I thought they were really in control of this game pretty much throughout. Yeah. And that's the way you have to be when you're a good team, and it's okay to say it. NC State has a good men's basketball team. I know it's been a minute since we've been able to say that, Mm -hmm. but the truth of the matter is, with four straight wins, they have now matched last year's win total in the league. They're also up to number 25 in the net. So try to wrap your brain around this. <laughs> this game for North Carolina is a Q1 game, okay? But when Carolina comes to Raleigh the day after the outdoor game in February, mm. it's right now is not a Q1 game. So NC State above Carolina in the net right now. It's not even really close. It's kind of hard to believe, given how we started this season with thinking, well, Kevin Keats is going to get fired. They're going to miss the NCAA tournament. Yeah. And North Carolina is number one, and they're just going to run roughshod into Houston and redeem team part two. They win the title again. Hasn't played out that way on either side. About North Carolina, and before we get to the actual matchup between the Wolfpack and the Tar Heels, which we'll have some more time to talk about as the week rolls on. They get the win over Boston College. I know you've mentioned that Boston College is a feisty team. Yeah, they're better than people want to give them credit for. Totally, totally agree with you on that. Whereas NC State has clearly improved and the playing with a purpose as well. And the circumstances around Kevin Keats coming back, a lot of fans were not happy about it. But, hey man, he's there. Make it work. And they're making it work. And reshape the staff, reshape the roster. They've done a great job. So that's paying off. The Tar Heels are basically the same. Whereas NC State has completely turned things around, the Tar Heels are the same. That's not a bad thing. It's just not what people expected this season. Carolina is a good basketball team with a good record, and they'll make the NCAA tournament. But they're clearly not this. It's funny we were talking about 2009, the the UNC team from 2009. You talk about the standard is the standard. Breathing fire, man. My gosh. Well, you go back to 05. Same thing. You come back. You're here to win a championship. You breathe fire. That's pretty much what they did. And even in the 16-17 crossover, that redeem team, while it wasn't one of the more overwhelming all timers of UNC basketball championship teams, they were clearly one of the best teams in college basketball throughout the year. That's where this team has failed to meet that expectation. That's not to say they can't make a run in the NCAA tournament, but I think finally things have kind of come back to the mean, including Caleb Love. And this is going to be the curious thing going forward. We know where North Carolina was at this point last year. They're in the exact same spot with the exact same record. 13-6, and 5-3 and three in the league. Caleb Love was better last year, though. The question is, can Caleb Love find his groove and understand his role in the offense going forward? And this is something that Hubert Davis is trying to love up here. Here's Hubert Davis, head coach North Carolina, last night on talking about Caleb Love's game outside of the three-point shooting. I thought what gave us life was um, his defensive charge. That's what I thought gave us life. You know, One of the things that I've said a number of times is Caleb is a basketball player all of our guys are 
and that is, you know, you can make an impact in many different areas. It's not just scoring and shooting, it's distributing, it's playing defense, it's rebounding, it's uh, team chemistry, energy and effort, enthusiasm. Um, there's a number of ways that you can benefit a team and allow us to be the best that we can be. But I think, I mean, it was nice that he, you know, from an offensive standpoint, he made some, some shots down, down the stretch. But to me, I thought the biggest play in the game was his defensive charge that he took um, um, late in the second half. So that's Hubert Davis on Caleb Love. We understand that if North Carolina is going to be at its best, they need all of their big three to perform. Armando Baycott? doing his thing i've been a big fan of how rj davis has played all season long to me i think he's truly the leader of this tar heel squad and then you've got the love roller coaster fire up the ohio players if you want to do the red hot chili peppers version knock yourself out but it's the love roller coaster right now and if we just focus on january on let's get to this year on one of seven against wake this is from three point one of seven against wake forest Three of six against Notre Dame. Three of nine in a loss to Virginia. Three of seven to Louisville. I'm sorry, zero of seven. Zero of seven from uh, from three, and then two of ten from three yeah, against Boston 27% College. Yeah, twenty-seven percent for this season. His three-point shot has been off. That's where he was back in uh, back his freshman ago. year. Yeah, I, I think Saturday you'll probably see a little bit different three-point shooting effort from Caleb Love. Aha! Which gets us to Saturday. We got a we got a tweet last night from our friend Doc Kennedy. Doc Heel Fire on Twitter. He's one of the originators of the Tar Heel blog, the SB Nation website. Him and Brian Barber started that site up. Did a great job. So Doc at one point last night, this was at halftime when when the shooting vibes were off for the Tar Heels against Boston College. He had tweeted out, Hey, hey, hey guys, hey guys. Um, you got any of that stuff? He tweets Hey Gilio, hey Ovius, can you guys burn some sage or go to you know go do some uh, pour out some stuff in the Smith Center parking lot to help Caleb Love break out of this funk? And I simply responded like this: We have a special herb called Versus NC State that should work on Saturday for the Tar Heels. They're honoring a championship team. Yeah, they got the bingo card going. Right, they got all the Roy's going to be there swag surfing with Wanda. All the things that you need that North Carolina fans know will break whatever slump their key players need to get out of. State's there for you. And I'm not saying anything NC State fans aren't nodding their head long going, yep, we've seen this movie before. They need the Q1 win, too. Carolina does. That's the And part. the confidence, probably. And, and that gets back to the central question. If I, if I told you, Carolina right now, 5-3 and three in the league, if I yeah. tell you they go 9-3 and three the rest of the way, would you be surprised? I, I, I feel like they have that type of run in them. But it has to start Saturday. It has to start with some confidence on Saturday, too. Why do they need more confidence, though? That's the thing. Because they're obviously not playing their best. They've they've diddled around with a lot of games. The Boston College was in the Boston College win was indicative of how they've played this season. It is, yes. You know? You're at home. Hello. Have you, you played have we, to have, win the game? Have we stopped to consider that this is just who they are? Well, you know what? Last year it was unlocked when Brady Manick got more minutes and really became the bus driver of that team. Mm-hmm. So maybe we'll see something similar to that. Maybe it is Armando Baycott all the way. I mean, I, I don't know. I think I do think they need a healthy Pete Nance. Yeah, that would obviously help. He doesn't sure. need to be Brady Manick, but he needs to be healthy and on the floor. Mm-hmm. I still think they can get more out of both Puff Johnson and Seth Campbell. I, I think those are two guys that they're just not getting enough out of consistently. Like I, to me. The the further along we get with this, I think we just have to accept the Trimble. Is, excuse me, Seth, Seth Trimble. Trimble. This is just who they are. This is just who they are. It's who they were last year before things went on this awesome hot run. Yeah, but you saw what they could be. We haven't seen yet what this team can be. When Manic stepped up, you were like, okay, that's who they could be. Kind of like Daniel Jones in the playoffs. You now know what Daniel Jones can be, mm-hmm. right? We didn't see, we didn't know that before. Yeah. So once Manic stepped up, okay, this is who yeah. you can be. Right now, we don't know how good Carolina can be. 